Well, what's good everybody? It's a new day and I got a special one for you today. We're gonna do a stage 3 run in the Crimson Waste and I've prepared for a full Illuvial catch run. I have made all the augments that you could possibly ask for. We also got some new skins right here. We got this cute little Mozart skin with his smile there. We got a nice skin for the Ranger. And for the augments, we are running minus 20% encounter costs and 9% chance illuvial escape reduced and we also got right here capture power 35% and again chance illuvial chance of illuvial escape minus 9% so those are two really really if not the best augments to capture illuvials and on the middle one by the way just a little explanation those two on the sides they're for mining costs for capture costs and all the good stuff and here in the middle we got like heat sensor and visor and scan costs and stuff like this so i think scan costs is the best one for the middle so we are prepared we also got 28 common shards which are the lowest one just in case we got eight uncommon shards we got seven of those rare shards we got four epic shards and we got one splendid shard resplendent shard so we are ready to catch some illu wheels. We're up on the invisible wall. Let's dive right down there and let's start going. Let's get going and catch us some nice ramfies. May we find a ram fire. I'm definitely gonna hold out for the best shard to be used if we find something extraordinary. By the way, the stage 3 run, you can only do it once a day. And I've been preparing for this the last two days just to have a perfect illuvial run. And we're gonna capture them all. I've also practiced my shooting skills, so we're not gonna miss any of those anomalies. There is one right there. I'm gonna show you how good I got at sniping. Gotcha. Boom! Look at that. We're not gonna miss a single one today. That's my promise to you. And let's see what the first one got for us. So we upped the scanning cost, and we could scan right here. And... I think that's what we're gonna do. Just so we don't lose 500. We're just diving in. Ah. We don't see a lot. We don't want the ones we see, but... I don't know about the, the three invisible ones. You know what? Since it, this is at the beginning and it's gonna stay here, we're just gonna leave it for now and we can always come back and capture that later on. So let's go down. We're gonna go down here into this little cave right here that's really good then we're gonna go over to the boneyard and then we're gonna go up to soka's garden and if we're maxed not maxed out but then we can also go over here i like that one and up there is also alrighty. so let's go down here let's see what we can catch it's so it has been so amazing playing this game because every time you play it you find out new details you join the discord and the whole meta game has changed and in the beginning I said don't scan at all, which is kind of true if you start playing the game because you are in need of everything that you need, except for plants, they don't work yet, so don't take any plants. And But right now I actually realized, for example, if you do a stage 3 shard run to get all those good shards to do a capture run like we do right now, you want to actually be scanning those mining deposits. Because what happens if you scan, there is like 10 fields that you can mine. And let's say four of them are, uh, there is nothing in there. So then you know, okay, when you, when you then harvest the mining node and you see like there is six things that I can capture. And after two times harvesting, you already captured five of those things. And there is only one mining thing left and four flukes. You're not gonna scan again because chances are you're not gonna get much out of it if that makes sense we can do one mining node if we find a shard deposit just so i can demonstrate what i mean it's kind of hard to explain I really like to shoot up those things you know what that is that's the iceberg i've been waiting for there was a alluvial contest oh there's another one there was this last loop there was this last Illuvial contest where you could design an Illuvial that would be in the game. And I designed the Ice Bear and it kind of looked like this one. And even though I'm scared, my... scared? Uh, sad? <laughs> 
mine didn't get picked. I'm still super stoked that there is this nice ice bear in the game. So let's get up there, slow down time by zooming in and shoot down this Illuvial. You can always spam it. You got like two seconds before it disappears. So spamming is a good thing to do. And I think we're just gonna dive right in here and gonna capture here some nice Illuvials. I have a good feeling. I don't wanna lose those 100 points on scanning. I've never done a full Illuvial run. So, I'm really excited how much we're gonna be able to capture. You're too much of a waste for oh, I didn't even think about updating my roster, but I hope we can do it with those guys. There's a lot of stage 3 units in here. Alright, so we, what we got, we got a Lolura, which is pretty exciting. I wanna get a Malura, so we already have a Lura, so... Lolura would be nice. Tatupi, always nice to have. A C Forest would be cool, but... Yeah, Lolura is, I think, the one we would be going for. And yeah, I didn't even think about upgrading my units and my roster, so I hope we can beat it. And it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to beat like the big encounters. So we got we got two assassins coming in. We got no tanks of the enemy team. We're gonna start on this Tatopi. It's an easy kill. Then we need some tanks for the backline for the two assassins. We're gonna bring in the Groco. He is an AoE stun, so that's pretty good. Let's do it like that. And probably one more unit at least. Would be nice to have the free earth. Also, Ripto is really good, by the way. Um, so let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go with damage. Now we're on 127, and just to make sure that we beat it, which I'm also gonna get in the Ripter. There we go, 87. That gives us like three tries of capturing, and since we only want really the Lulura and maybe the Lura, um, that should be enough. And we're gonna play it on the safe side. Let's go. Let's see how we do. Insta kill on Tatopi, insta kill on the Lynx. Rocco is dead. So now we have the Lulura to worry about, but she died before casting her Omega, so we are good. Yeah, we we put a bit of too much of units down, but that's fine. Yes, there it is. By the way, the Lura line is a stage 3, you can see it right there with the three bars. So, now when we're gonna catch the Lulura, what are we gonna use? I don't think we're gonna use a tier 1 shard. Which is for tier 1 and less Illuvials. Oh, I said stage 3. It's a uh, tier 3. So, tiers are 1 to 5. 0, 1, 2, 5. Yeah, I'm good at counting. And stages are usually the rare, uh, the, the power of it. The, how much they're evolved and there is usually 0 to 3 stages. So tiers are the rarity of something. We got tier 0 to tier 5 shards here. And we got a tier 3 Lura. We got a tier 2 Lynx and a tier 1 Tatabi. Alrighty, so I think we're gonna go, just to be safe, with the tier 3 shard for the tier 3 Illuvial. And that will give us a nice capture rate. A big chance of success. And yeah, once we run out of shards, we're just gonna throw those tier 1 shards on everything and hope they will stick. But we got a we got a couple of shards, so we don't need to be too greedy right now. There we go, we got the Lulura. Pretty stoked about that. And I think, just for fun, we're gonna try to catch the Lura, which I don't care too much about right now. We're gonna try to catch it with a common shard. By the way, never use the shard fragments. For anything except tier zeros, because the tier zero shards only can capture tier zero illuvials. Tier one shard on a tier three illuvial? No, didn't work out. We're in the minus on stability, so this will collapse. But we got the illuvial we came for, and we're gonna move on to the next one. It's a good start. I'm still still very curious what in the first in the first ana anomaly. With the three hidden Illuvials is waiting for us. Uh, let's see if we find enough anomalies to really max out everything. We only found two. I thought there would be more here. But we know where they are. So we just gotta keep searching. There is a lot. Um, if you look here on this way, there's a lot of them. There's not a lot of mining deposits on this little light way here. But there's a lot of Illuvials in my experience. So, let's do the crucial jump. We jump, dash, and then we side jump 
with WA or WD. And there is a Luvial right there. Little. Oh, shit. Oh, that was close. Alrighty, three out of three so far. Should we just dive in? I think we're just gonna dive in. Every five scans, we would have had one more encounter. And we're just gonna risk it. Here we go. And once we're like running out of energy and there's still a lot of Illuvials to catch, we or if we're getting low on energy, I guess we're gonna start scanning more. But we wanna catch. So let's maximize the catching. That's a low, low board again. We got two more Luras. I think we're just gonna try to catch as many Luras and low Luras as possible. Maybe we'll end up with a Malura at the end of this run. But there's 323 stability points. We're always gonna equip our weapon. And we're gonna always bond with Toka. We're also always gonna get the Groku in for those assassins. It's a really nice assassin tank. We're gonna start... First kill is gonna be on this Tatopi. Um, I guess we're gonna play it kinda like last time. I didn't check the damage. We gotta check if Flish is really worth it, because I think he's not even casting. So Ripta and Terra Lynx could be better. We're gonna get in the Ripta just to have another fighter stack, which ups the damage of all our fighters. And I think a Terra Lynx here to tank the left side of the board would be nice. Now we have 100 stability, so a little bit more than last time. And we're not gonna put the Flish in, otherwise we're pretty low. Then we're on 94, uh, 49. So yeah, let's leave him out. And I think 99 should be pretty good. Alright, let's see how we're doing. Right side is dead. Our Lynx is still tanking strong. Rocco died now. Lynx is gonna take over. And this is gonna be a close one. But we got it. Pretty solid. We can't see the damage tab. It would be super interesting how the wheels performed. Alright, let's catch those Luras. I'm a really big fan of Malura. I said many times before, like this animal, the star-nosed mole where it, where this animal, uh, this Illuvial comes from. I'm not a big fan, they look fucking ugly in real life. But in this game, they're just beautiful. They replace this nasty snout with, with a nice flower and just those, those uh, gems on the back of them. They look so good. So they are th tier 3 Illuvials. So I don't think we want to... We just try one tier one shard just to be greedy and if it doesn't work out we're gonna work our way up to tier two and tier three i really don't want to waste too many shards wow that was yeah the chances are really bad for this to succeed let's try a tier two shard or a tier three alluvial so slightly less chances wow <laughs> Alrighty, righty you're getting the big shard now I don't even want you anymore, because I can't catch the other one, we only got one catch left, so I think we're gonna try a tier 2 shard again. By the way, if the capturing doesn't work out, um, you're not gonna lose the shard, which is a good thing. Because for the good shards you would have paid to cure them once the game comes out. Let's do it, Mozart. Let's do it! Ah, screw it. Alrighty, we were a bit greedy there, I guess. But even though we want to catch a lot of Luras and get a Malura in the end, this is not my main goal. I want to get those tier 5 Illuvials. We want to get those Ramphys. We got only one. I think nobody got a Ramphire yet, so eat that race would be really, really nice. We gotta get lucky for that. Somebody found a wild fight, but I don't think he caught it. So yeah, that's why we played it greedy on the, Lulura, uh, on the Luras, because they're not our our main focus at least not yet maybe we'll get desperate when we don't find any good got another two illuvials floating around here We're gonna do gotcha. it's so easy when you're like in the air you have enough energy to slow down time with aiming and it's gonna be super easy. let's scan then it's gonna be super easy to hit that Illuvial. I had, in the beginning, I had so much trouble doing it, but now it's actually super easy. All right, we got 
three lures and a kuka. I wish we could do another marker, but I guess we're just gonna remember here is another anom anomaly if we need it. And we're gonna keep moving on for now. That's not a shark deposit. I still wanna show you the mining thing. We're gonna come to that later. Alrighty. Whoopa. Got him. Five out of five. Gonna hit them all. Alright, let's scan again. Because it really helps us to... To skip unnecessary fights. Look at that. So many luras. Alright. Let's move on. If we don't find anything good, we know we can get a malura here. Um... Alright, let's go here first and over there and then we're out. Where are you at? Here, let's look over there. We got a lot of speed now from falling down. Can travel super far. Yeehoo! Alrighty, no more Illuvials here. We're a bunch, to be honest, so... Not sure which color the, the, chem uh, the shark deposits are. This looks like a chem deposit. Green one. Synthesis. Alright, yeah. Get all the way down. Before you hit the ground, you jump again while pressing forward, W, and left or right. So you get double movement speed from going forward and right, for example. And you're gonna have a lot of fun jumping around in this beautiful world. And I'm sure we're gonna find on this pathway, we're gonna find some more Illuvials. Always when I go down here, I find them. When I don't want to find them, so... Maybe they're not here now. But just jumping around with this tech is so much fun anyway, so... I really don't mind searching for them. Where are my Luvials at? Wing. Wing. I really like the new skin on... Oh, stay up here. You always want to put your marker up there, because it's way easier to go down than it is to go up. But it's nice if you have a marker on top. You can have an easy time going down. See two Illuvials right there. Well, two anomal anomalies. There's gonna be way more than two in here. Scanning, we got 3,600 left. So I really want to start finding some good ones now. It's about time. Give us tier 5. There's a Lolura. I guess we're going for the Malura. Screw it. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So now we got Let's two... If we catch this, we got two Loluras, and then we need one more to the stage three. And I already got one Lura, so we need two more small Luras to make this happen. 207 um, stability up there, so a bit less than in the last fight. It's gonna stay the same. There is Actually, if we catch all three of them, we got a Malura. Let's try that. We put the Groko in the bottom to catch the assassins. And we put, I guess, another tank to catch the assassins. But now we're pretty low on stability. I would like to beat this round a bit better. Can we sell you and put in a Ripter? It looks better. It's a bit risky, but... Can't help it. Kill the Lulura before he casts. Perfect. I feel like the Lubios are not getting... Yeah, they're not getting mana from damage, so that's way different to the arena. The fights in general are way different to arena. For example, these tier zeros are really strong. I like that. I want them to be really strong. So we're gonna use this tier, tier 3 shard for the tier 3 Lulura right there. 
just to have really good chances. We're not gonna overinvest and use uh, and use uh, epic shard, the tier four, four shard. Since we also got the, the augments for the modes, right? We got plus capture chance, less likely to run away. As I said this, just missed it and it ran away. Let's cruise up the whole plan. All right, gotta keep it cool. There's so much Lulurus anyway <laughs> running around, it seems like. Some Illuvials are definitely more common than others. Nope, not this one either. Let's try one more time. Take it. Nah. Somebody caught a Ramphi, uh, Ramphi with a uh, with, uh, tier 2 shard, man. We're getting really unlucky in this run so far. But this run ain't over. We haven't even used half of our energy yet, so it's all good. Big question I have really, do we keep scanning? Or do we save the scan energy and just jump in? I think once we catch another Lolura, we would just catch uh, jumping because we would actually want to find those Luras. Oh, I've said a lot of Lura and Lolura in this video. Got ya. If you charge up your shot, you're gonna have a faster traveling projectile. Not so much bullet drop. And let's jump in. We're just gonna alternate our tactic. Let's get started. Since I haven't done a full Illuvial capture run, I'm not sure how many Illuvials we can even find. So if we like If we're not gonna run run out of energy before we caught all the Illuvials, uh, captured like, went into all the encounters. We're not gonna even scan and this is a crappy one. We would uh would have not got in here if we scanned. Let's try to beat it anyway. Overinvest a little bit just to make sure we beat this round. And we go. I guess we're gonna try to capture the Rifter. And we have a second one and we only need one more to get a Ripterus, which would be really cool. Right plants would be really nice to have. Your download is complete. Alrighty, we want you. What stage is it? It's also a stage 3 Luvial. We don't want him too much, so we just... Uh, tier 3 Luvial. We don't want him like... We don't want him a lot, so we're just gonna use a tier 2 shard. And it's gonna succeed. Don't even need to look. Ah, easy capture. Good job, Mozart. Making up for your froze in the last one. And that's. Oh, let's try the try the Atlas. We got so many common shards. Might as well use them up. Catch some tier one Illuvials. The face of Illuvial. No, it's not Chimborino. Well, it actually it is, but it's also Atlas. I want to see Chimborino in an Atlas costume. Okay. Atlas mask. Hope we're gonna. I hope Illuvial is gonna do um, Halloween masks. Be pretty sick. Alrighty. The new tactic is we're gonna jump in every encounter and just gonna spam those tier one shards that we have 28 of. Just try to catch as many Illuvials as possible. And yeah, we very likely gonna go back to that first encounter that we skipped. Gonna find our Ramphi in there. So we're gonna... Are we already... Where are we at now? At Soka's Garden? Yeah, we are at Soka's Garden, which is, by the way, the the best place to find any loot. 
though this is really really nice here it's a little bit bugged i heard so that's why there's so much loot jump one time around wow there's so many mining nodes and an alluvial still guy we're still looking for that shard deposit i can show you what i mean by um scanning it's kind of nice especially in the high tier runs all right tactic jump in catch everything let's go here we go Yeah, what we got? Oh, nice. There's dash. Dick. Let's capture the dash and the lure. Mind you, give me the sword. Get in Rocco for the assassins. Not a tanking. Kind of like that, so actually our Lynx is tanking the most of it. Let's hit it. We got 100 stability left. Pretty healthy number. Ow, our range is tanking. That's not good. That's not good. And Toka cast it into Nova. But we good. Toka will definitely win this one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, the auto hits do so much more damage than in Arena, and the spells don't do as much, I feel like. Your download is complete. It's got that dash. What tier is it even? Is it a tier 5? It's a tier 4. Are we gonna use a tier 4 shard on it? Nah. Be greedy. Ah, screw it. Tier 4 shard. I'd really like this dash. Such a cool unit, I think. Got him. Our luck is turning around. Let's catch the rest of them. Two more tries. I think one try uses 30 stability energy. So, let's get the Lura. One time. Come on. The uncommon shard gotta work one time in all of those tries. It's gonna be such a sweat when it's actually about real NFTs when all of this is on the blockchain. I'm gonna use like only good shards once. Once it's about real NFTs. It's easy to say uh, I'm play greedy and everything. <laughs> There's nothing at stake, but it's already a big sweat. Like if you find the tier five Illuvial, you're sweating in this stage, and you're really happy once this happens. Good job, Mozart. Too bad we don't see the skin in game. And here we go. Rift is collapsing. See if we can, uh, can find that shark deposit. Alright, we're 28 minutes in the round, and I think we got around 2000 energy left. We got a time it good though. So, yeah, we got 2000 left. That's four more Illuvial encounters. How much does it cost to scan? And we can just scan once so I can show... Oh, that's a shard deposit. Alrighty. So if you find a deposit in like a higher tier run, you want to scan them. Because now you see, okay, out of those... 2, 3, 6, 8, 16 squares that you see down there. Out of the 16 squares, only 7 of them have items in them. So now if you harvest this... Every time you harvest, let's say you take, I think, three or four, it depends on your harvest power, of those squares away. Maybe in the first two harvests, you're gonna have six of those items in it, so you know there is 
only one item left, but so many blanks. And then you're not gonna uh, scan again, uh, harvest again. Except it's an item that you really want. And on the other side, if you like scan twice and you only hit blanks, then you know the next scan is gonna have all the items in it and you're gonna do another one. So, yeah. It makes a lot of sense, especially in higher tiers, to scan a lot those mining nodes so you actually see the odds and see what you what you're fishing for basically it's like if you go fishing and you know there is five fish in the pond and after an hour you caught four of them well you might just stop and <laughs> and not fish another two hours just to catch the last one you know what i mean so where is another loop we definitely, we have four more Illuvial encounters with this energy. I think we're down to 500 per, per encounter for the cost. So, let's just walk over here and make a little, make a little world tour, I guess. Getting up there is the hardest part, but no, we have stage three boots, so it's pretty easy by now to get up there. You can really jump super insane. Big quality of life upgrade those boots. There's the path. Kind of lost momentum. All about momentum with those jumps. Go, it's nice speed. Where you at? There he is. And there's another one. I really like this time slowing down thingy. Makes so much fun. You shoot like 20 bullets and then the time runs normal again and it all flies towards the target. I can see an Illuvium shooter. FPS. But not after we got a Mover and an MMO. And a Mario Kart and a dating site. There we go, stage two, TNT, three Vermilias. Definitely want to get the TNT. Always nice to get a stage two, which kind of saves you from catching three stage ones. It's like a hard encounter though. So let's get the tank in. Rocco tanks a little bit better than the Lynx, which was surprisingly to me. It was surprised me. We're gonna get both tanks in. And since I really wanna really really down to catch the TNT, I don't care too much about the Vermilias, I feel like. So I think we're just gonna play it safe. Put this guy in maybe just Since we use 30 energy per catch, if we were on 89, we would just put the, the armor away to get over 90 to have four tries basically. But now we don't need to and over here let's go positioning was not perfect because we were really spread out we we're attacking a lot of targets at the same time so we wouldn't do this in arena but in here it's a bit different like i don't know as long as they don't focus your damage dealer you should be fine Alrighty, what stage are you stage one tnt there we go bringing the common shard So if we learned something from this run, or my takeaway so far is, I, re I really wanted to catch the Lulura, and I should have put an epic shard on it. Like, just don't play greedy if you want something, and just put a good shard on it. Because it's gonna feel really bad if you miss it. We got the TNT, hell yeah. Uh, let's catch some Vermilias. Let's go. Here's tier three, uh, tier one shard on the tier three alluvial. Still trying to make that work. Nope, <laughs> not a chance. I think the success rate is really, really low. See that ship there? 
It's kind of blocked off, but if you go on the invisible wall, you can walk all the way over there. But nobody has found a way in yet. Caveman managed to look inside and look kind of empty, but it would be cool to stand inside. Ouch, there we go. We got a little crash. The second crash since I've started playing Overworld, which is not a lot for a private beta. And the good thing is, freaking Illuvium is so advanced that they have, you can reconnect to your run. Even though this is only private beta, we already have a reconnect button. I mean, it's no button, but if you go in, you're still going to be in the same run. And usually, even if you're in an, in an encounter, the encounter will still be there. So you can rejoin it or something. So, such a good job. This game, like, everybody had so high expectations and they over-delivered. It's way better than anybody expected, I feel like. So we're back here and what we're going to do is get back. Oh, let's see if that thing is still open. That might be lost though now. I think it is. I think this one didn't stay open. That's okay. I'm just happy to be able to reconnect. Hmm. Alright, where are we going? Uh, this one is pretty nice, I feel like. This one as well. Let's go down here first. And we can walk on the outside up here and back in here again. Jump King! Don't touch the poison though. We'll never know what was in those three hidden illuvials. I think there was one more illuvial encounter in Soka's Garden though, right? We can actually teleport there, but now we're already on the way, so let's do that later. Just use our teleport beacon to get there. Yeah! Alrighty, that didn't happen. <laughs> let's teleport! Oh, we were up there. Yeah, there was another one. We can teleport right here. Oh, is it gonna cost us something? I think it's gonna cost 100 energy. No, it's free. Woo! That would have screwed up all the calculations we did. Big jumps incoming. Get so much speed from falling down all the way there. See me bouncing. They hate But actually this was this is not really a glitch, it was intended by the Illuvium team to have this advanced movement mechanic. They just didn't think we would figure it out so fast and they didn't think we could optimize it in that way that we're super fast now. They maybe want to tone it down a bit because you can almost jump too far. Remember I still miss the level 3 jetpack. Which will give me a great boost. And once I got that, you can see at full speed. Jump, dash, strafe jump. There's another encounter. That's the problem. You run out of energy the times like and then you you screwed. But if you run out of energy gotcha. while while you're zooming in, while you're trying to shoot, that really screws you up. But we made it. Peace. Here we go. Something nice. One time. We don't have to stream a luck. We're actually recording. Your download we got we got a rip there. A bunch of lynxes. There's so many lynxes in this game. <laughs> God damn it. Alrighty, alrighty. Kill him. <laughs> Just 
should be enough. If it's not, I'm not even mad. <laughs> hey, actually, let's put the Groco up here. Damage dealer side. Ranger all the way. Hold it. You know, Ranger, she's dying so fast. We good. Maybe Lynx can cast? Nope. Perfect. Bada bing, bada bye. Bada bing, bada bye. Let's catch us a Riptor, which will give us the third Riptor, and then we can fuse him to be a Ripterus. And I'm still very greedy. I shouldn't be that greedy. <laughs> but, like, we can. If we save some shards for units that we don't even really want to have, we're just gonna have more for tomorrow, and we can do another tier 3 Illuvial run tomorrow. So I'm not... Shards are way more important than the Illuvials at this point. Like, I want to be ready if there is, like, a proper tier 5. I want to... Be ready for the big boys. Ador tier 5. Ramphy. I think Fury too? I'm not 100% sure on the Fury. Sharding failed. Damn it. I guess the tier 1 shards are just really bad to catch anything above tier 1. Two wheels. But that's also why we do it, right? I, I'm gonna try this a hundred times and if it fails 90% of the times, I know that you can't trust it and that I'm not gonna use it for anything that is that means anything to me. Let's have a quick pick and peek in this cavern. Just to see if there's anything flying about. Really? I think we're gonna go straight out of it again. Hey! Yeah, right. Let's go... It's over there. Yeah, the crash kind of set us back, because now all those Illuvials that we saved by not encountering them and maybe encountering, trying to do them later on, we have enough energy left, they're all gone. So now we're like three encounters down. Now uh, let's see, maybe we can find enough. We need two more encounters. I'm positive that there's two more Illuvials flying around. Or anomalies. That one up. Jump, dash, side jump. Side jump. What's that? They did a good job by putting the lighting lightning of the of the plants kind of in the same color as Illuvials. Back there is another one. Alright, we have enough energy to zoom in, enough fade out. Gotcha. Gotcha. No, I scanned! Oh, I misclicked. Oh, that's a pity. Alrighty, so we're gonna keep scanning and then we're gonna use the rest up for mining, I guess. It's, it screws with me that the same button that you like start open the interaction the same button is scanning so many times I'm just like Smashing E and scanning even though I don't want to But it is what it is. It's all in all a very scuffed round yeah. so far <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me if you're still here and let's See what's in here Would be cool if there was any way to gain like a little bit of energy like sometimes if you're just five energy short, there's a dash. The hidden alluvial. Well we'll come back to it. More. 
That's the one we've just been to. Yeah, that's the one we already opened up. I'm pretty sure they don't despawn. Pretty sure they stay open. Got another one. There's heaps of encounters. Oh no, I was trolled. That's what I meant. Like, the lighting of the plants is really good. It's hard to see sometimes from afar. It's an alluvial or not. It ain't moving. Ah, oh, there's something. Right, I guess it was a blessing in disguise that I misclicked the scan, because now we can scan a lot. Really pick our fight, because if we dive in this one, it's pretty much useless anyway. So, yeah. Scanning is pretty strong after all. Yeah, one we had. Ready, where are we at? Keep on going down here and back in there again. Alright, that's what I mean. We're two energy off from being able to scan two more times, I guess. If it costs 100. No, it doesn't cost 100. Anyway, it would be great if you could, like, somehow harvest a little bit of energy. Just to round it up and not be short of by one energy. I remember the first time I was playing, I had so much trouble getting on this plant. And now we do it in one jump combination. <laughs> we use it to accelerate even more. Seems like we're missing a little bit of forward momentum, but we got a lot of height. And we screwed up. Alright. Come out wherever you are. There it is. That's the one, guys. It's also our last scan, so it has to be the one. Flies around like a madman. I don't think that's really an indication, but... Scan anyway, otherwise we're gonna go back to that one where there was like one hidden Illuvial in there. Oh, I like that. Seven Illuvials. We don't know what they are. Let's get started. But I think you can see the affinity. Like if it was a fire Illuvial, like Ramphy would have been red or orange or something. Ah, shall not be defeated. We got, we got, bunch of birds, bunch of moles, bunch of ant eaters. Very anticlimactic. <laughs> All right, Doka, let's go. I mean, I definitely made some mistakes in this run, but I still feel like we got pretty unlucky. We definitely should have invested big in the Lulura, just to get our Malura. But other than that, there's not many mistakes that have been made, I feel like. Alrighty, how many, how many units do we need in here? Yo, this flesh is huge! What the hell? It's like a doggy. So let's see, insta kill, insta kill, insta kill, then we got the Lura, the Terra Lynx, who will die by then. You die. We got three units left. I think we can do it like this. And I want to catch a lot of Illuvials in this last encounter, so we're just gonna risk it. 140 mastery points left. 
kind of scary though. If Kuka casts. Let's do it with 100. It would be really bad if we lose this last fight. <laughs> Would have been kind of close, but not really. I guess we could have saved the last 40 points. Alrighty, who wants to be in the team? Kuka is stage one. Vermilia, I don't even think I got a Vermilia yet. What do you want? Go, Lura. You want to get away from this hostile environment? You want to come in my little shard and be a friend of mine? Don't fight it. Good job. Oh, that cost 40 energy. Maybe it's about how much mastery points they cost. That's how much energy it uses. How much is Vermilia? I think she's also 40. Let's try. Forty. I definitely seen minus thirty, so it must be must be that. There we go. Happy end. We're catching some alluvials. The Vermilia can manipulate snow with its tail and smooth out the terrain to run faster. It can flatten obstacles or create sculptures with this ability, making playgrounds to slide in. Oh, that's, seems like a lot of fun. Sounds like me in the winter. Who are we gonna get last? Kuka. So I think Kuka is 30. So now we should use, lose 30 stability. Yes, sir. All right, that's good to know. Boom, there you have it. Three out of three. This game is not rugging us. <laughs> Wonderful. And since we don't got enough energy to pour back, we're just gonna suicide in some toxic waste and have a last look at our team that we were able to capture today. Show me the money. And by the way, thank you so much for tuning in. Really, I really enjoy doing, making videos for you and some people told me they really enjoyed watching them, so it's a win-win, I guess. And yeah, big thanks to you. We got a dash, we got a TNT, which is huge. We got a Lulura. Next time we're gonna complete the Luluridex, and we got a Ripter. I'm pretty stoked about what we found anyway. I don't feel like this is very representative of a stage 3 run. Usually you should get way bigger Illuvials, but after all it's probability right we just were a bit unlucky i feel like with our encounters and that's all right it was still not bad we have enough to port back oh we got enough sweet because i don't see any toxic acid to die in sweet back to the mesa thank you so much for tuning in have a wonderful day i'm gonna definitely try this again tomorrow with way better success i'm sure because it cannot go much worse i think <laughs> it was still a lot of fun to do i love playing this game and yeah see you tomorrow have a wonderful day and peace out